Good morning, friends. Today we have one more topic, most important topic in English language, that is writing skill. And welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you will definitely enjoy the topic because to score the marks, to score the marks in English language, grammar and writing skill. These two topics plays very vital role, and I hope you will enjoy it. The topic which will be discussed today. If you want to see, I'm going to zoom it out so that you'll come to know the structure of formal letter. Structure of formal letter and also the format is given of this letter so that you will come to know how to write the letter see I have zoomed it so that you can see sender's address then you will have to write receiver's address then after receiver's address your subject should be written in short then solution. Solution means you have to write dear sir, dear madam, whatever it may be. Then after that, main body of the letter should be written. Main body of the letter should be written. Closing address is there. At the end, closing address and end of the letter. Your letter should be end with yours faithfully or sincerely. The words like this. Okay validation that is called so with validation good validation your letter should be completed let us see how to write the formal letter as well as informal both the letters today we are going to see so i hope you will enjoy it and just keep in mind most important thing if you are not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel so that all the videos with notification you will get you will not miss any video so kindly subscribe the channel keep it in mind don't forget to subscribe the channel it is most important topic letter writing so how to write the letter there are certain things which we must keep in our mind when we are or when you are writing the letter the letter writing it is not very difficult task it is creative writing it is imaginary thing our subject is already given in a uh, question paper. So in question, mark, question paper, for the writing skill, there are 20 marks. For the writing skill, there are 20 marks. And maybe fifth question. It starts with fifth question. Fifth question, yes. In writing section, question number fifth, you have letter writing A1 or A2. Two letters will be given to you as a task in question paper then first one will be the formal and second one will be informal or first will be informal then second will be formal letter so both the letters you will have to prepare for the exam because sometimes if you are able to write formal letter then you can write the formal letter if you are not able to write a formal letter then you can write informal but most of the time we select informal letter because the informal letter is very easy to write and for the formal letter we have little bit of complications we have to write subject and whatever it may be and language also should be written language also should be written exact or in short therefore it was very difficult for the student to write the formal letter but don't bother about that when you listen or when you watch the video you will come to know how easy the formal letter is so first of all we will see formal letter what is formal letter and what is the format of letter both type of letters formal and informal to know to write the formal letter to write the formal letter we must know what is formal letter in which area or in which situation formal letter is written 
So definition, we can concept of the lateral, we can understand that the lateral which is written for the official purpose. The letter which is written for the official purpose. Such letters are called formal letters. Definition of concept of the formal letter. So formal letter is a letter which is written. Keep it in mind and also write it in your notebook. The letter which is written for the purpose of office or official purpose. It may be industrial area, it may be municipal area, it may be postal area, whatever it may be. Application type letters. Application type letters are known as formal letter. Means it is written to office to office or person to office or office to person. Not it is not belong to family. Such letters are known as formal letters. So when you are writing the letter, you must keep some certain thing in your mind which are very important for writing skill when you are writing the letter. First thing is that if all text legend left side according to if all the text legend left side according to new method according to the new method at the left side at the left side of the at the left side of the notebook at the left side of the notebook we have margin and close to that margin we have to start your letter which is shown suppose this is a margin and beside one line or one pace one finger pace you can maintain for that so that it will look very beautifully so keep all the text whatever you are going to write keep all the text and with left side manje tumcha sampurna text se dhaga bazula aslela pahije dhaga bazula aslela pahije purvi cha kay asayche purvi patra padna cha patta ujya bazula asayche jala apan patto to tumcha dhaga bazula asayche परंतु न्यू मेथड व्हिच इज यूज्ड इन ईमेल व्हेन वी सेंड ईमेल व्हेन वी सेंड ईमेल और रिसीव ईमेल वी गेट ऑल द लेटर्स और ऑल द सब्जेक्ट व्हाट एवर इट मे बी एट द लेफ्ट साइड एंड दिस इज व्हाट वी हैव टू डू सो फर्स्ट इज दैट कीप ऑल टेक्स्ट एंड जी टू द लेफ्ट साइड सेकंड वन इज स्टार्ट विद योर ओन एड्रेस First of all, you have to write your own address when you are writing a letter or when you are writing application. You have to start with your address. When you are writing the address, write your name, but imaginary name. Don't write your full name. Okay. So write your name. Then you invert the comma. After that, write your address, full address with pin code. Give the full stop. then after the address mention the date mention the date with the address mention the date with the address at the end of the address that mean when you are writing the pin code of that certain area then give the full stop give the full stop after the address and then followed by pin code write the date which you have written the letter jya divshi patra lile tya divsa chi tarikh pin code cha khali lagayche full stop dyaychi garaj nahi there is no need of giving full stop then when you write your address then followed by you have written the date after that you have to write the receiver's address and receiver's address are usually given in the textbook or given in the question paper receiver's address will be given in the question paper that is what we are going to see later on okay receiver's address will be 
given in the question paper then mention the subject after the address for the formal letter then mention the subject in short write the same formula same structure you will have to follow mention the subject in short then solution solution respected sir dear sir or dear madam whatever it may be in the new inverted comma then body of the letter main body of the letter because when you are going to write official letter or you are going to write application or formal letter then you will have to write it in very short you should not be write as a personal when we are writing informal letter then we become personal we can use any language our own but when you are writing the letter of official letter or formal letter then you will have to keep in mind that your letter should be started with few words which are useful for your topic then resolve your problem in second paragraph resolve your problem in second paragraph whatever you want to mention whatever you want to speak with the office officer or whoever it may be then you will have to resolve your problem in the second paragraph then you should conclude the letter with third paragraph in a very short ekdam paragraph chhota letter and then validation should be written at the end yours faithfully or yours sincerely these are the most important things which are or which should be kept in mind while writing the formal letter so the structure of the formal letter is given sender's address so it should be written see if you come if you imagine or if you can see whole boxes are given in a particular line these are not here or there this side can be changed but this side should be complete in a single line or in a complete line so that it will look very beautiful so first sender's address will be there then receiver's address after that subject in very short then selection selection will be there dear sir respected sir or dear madam respected madam then main body of the letter then closing address closing address means you are not going to write the address you have to address closing address your expression what you feel what you think or your third paragraph in third paragraph small conclusion it is called small conclusion conclude your letter with regards regards means i hope you will i hope you will consider about my application and will take the action immediately like that okay regard that not i pray for you everything nothing nothing this should not be written because it is official letter and in official letter these sort of things are not concluded or not written okay so then at the end end of the letter the end of the letter should be with benediction end of the letter should be with benediction benediction also should be there thanking you and then yours thanking you then exclamation should be given then yours faithfully or yours sincerely then in order to comma and write your name and the letter is complete this is what the formal letter is written now let us see how to write the formal letter so which are going to write the formal letter
Question is there? Question is there? Formal letter. Write a letter to the chief officer of Nasik. Write a letter to the chief officer of the Nasik Municipal Corporation, Raju Gandhi Bhavan, Nasik, for providing dustbins, brooms, garbage trolley, etc. For no plastic campion, you may add your own points. So address to whom we are going to write the letter is already given in this question. The address to whom you are going to write the letter is already given. Okay. So points also are given over here in the letter. So first of all read two three times. At least two three times you will come to know what is the subject actually. For what purpose we are going to write the letter. Just don't do that. You saw the address and whatever it may be and you started writing later. No, that is not good habit, my dear children. That's not good habit. If you are able to understand in a single word or in a single read at the first sight of reading, then no matter. There is no objection. There is need, no need of reading the question again and again. But sometimes what happens? When we are in hurry, we just read it, but we are not able to get the understand or we are not able to understand the question properly. And that's the reason we are having problem to write the letters like especially formal letter or official letter. That's the reason we are having problem to write the letter or Sometimes what happens, subject is different, but we are writing some different type of letter. And when we complete the paper, when we complete our work, then we remember, we come to know that I have written a letter, but which was not included according to the question, or which was not written what the question was actually asked. This is what very often happens by just because of our uh, hurry. So read it nicely and try to understand what the question is given. So write a letter to the chief officer of Nasik Municipal Corporation, Raju Gandhi Bhavan, Nasik, for providing dustbins, brooms, garbage, trolleys, etc. for no plastic campion you may add your own points okay the subject of the letter is subject of the letter is for providing dustbins first one is brooms garbage trolley etc for no plastic campion you may add your own point you will have to write your own point some effects of plastics are given over here Plastic takes 100 years to decompose. Then plastic harms marine life with human life. It affects human life. Plastic disturbs ecosystem. Plastic disturbs ecosystem. Plastic causes floods. How the flood is caused by the plastic? It may, you may know it, how it is taken place. So, so the question is already given over here and how the letter is written. That is what I am going to teach you, how your letter should be started. So let us see, suppose this is the margin, this is margin and you have to start your letter from this side. Okay. <coughs> Sender's address, first of all, we'll have to write our address. I write here Sunil Savant. Sunil Savant.
सुनील सावंत ओके देन शांति निकेतन शांति निकेतन अपार्टमेंट अपार्टमेंट रूम नंबर फोर नासिक रोड रोड नासिक रोड पुणे ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ सेवेन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी यू कैन राइट सॉरी आई एम रिटर्न डेट फोर वन फोर 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 सिक्स जीरो फाइव दिस इज पिन कोड एंड द राइट डेट 29th July. July. There should be. There should be written like this. 29th July, 2020. Then, to whom you are going to write a letter? Okay. To. The address will be mentioned over here. Chief Officer. to the chief chief officer officer comma nasik municipal corporation municipal Corporation, corporation, Nasik, Nasik, comma, Raju Gandhi Bhavan. Then subject here in single line subject subject should be in short form or in short not long
application for the application for the application for the providing dustbins bins garbage and trolley application for application for Subject. Subject. Means this paragraph is written about the subject. Means what is mentioned in the subject. Subject. Means what the reason I am writing this letter. Okay. So subject was application for providing the garbage trolley or whatever it may be. So here it is written. I understand, Mr. Sunil Sawan. Would like to request you for the above mentioned subject. Okay. In our area, in our area, Or in our area, in our lane. Then we are 
provide all these hazards hazards we need we need to avoid avoid the use of plastic we need to avoid the plastic Therefore, 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 to clean all the garbages, to clean all the garbages. These are the things, this was our topic, first paragraph was like this and then second, this is the second paragraph and third paragraph we have to conclude with something which is very interesting or the reader should think over about that. So, at the end, I hope, I hope you will, will consider about the subject subject and will provide the instruments mentioned mentioned above above so end thanking you thanking you exclamation and send underneath your
Yas Fethuli. Yas Fethuli. Yas Fethuli. Yas Fethuli. And the writer name, the person who has written the letter, Sunil Sawan. This is what the application should be written. This is what the application should be written. This is formal letter. In the next video, we will see how to write the informal letter. So, for if you have not subscribed the channel, kindly subscribe the channel and also share it to your friends, your family, your relatives, and your friend circle, whatever it may be. Say it to all. Thank you. Have a nice day.